Welcome back to World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Classic Blind. I have not logged into this game in so long. Due solely to the fact that I have this whole every other day upload schedule. And the previous episodes were recorded back to back to back to back to back to back. So it has been... 12 days? Probably something like that. Anyways, we are back. We're in Ironforge, where we left off last time after that gigantic mess in Maradon. But now we are ready to go. As I said previously, my next goal is this Arcane Runes quest in Azshara. So that's where we're gonna head first. But we're gonna check our auction house stuff. Oh wait, it's, oh boy, a gold discount, thanks. Take your money, out of here. Sold some greater mana potions. Didn't sell fronds. Didn't sell soil. Didn't sell this elemental fire. Didn't sell the seeds. Looks like we sold a decent amount of these things, though. Sold some iron ore for three gold. Not bad. Is that only eight iron? That's expensive. Sold some swift whistle. Yeah, we sold, we sold some of the soil. It's not bad. Some elemental water. Some elemental earth. Some tears. We sold that short sword of vengeance for 10 gold. It's pretty good. Sold the hammer for 6. Sold another of those mithril casings. Pearl. Some cloth. Another earth, another of the mithril casings, gold thorn, and that very expensive scroll of stamina three. And now our auction house is empty. Does so if we got anything weird in the bank? Nope, it's all looking good. We could probably sell, probably try selling this in the auction house again. For the most part, if an auction fails, it's kind of not worth going at it again. What's on your mind? At least not right now. Sell the seed packets. Sell the fronds. The soil. I'm sure we could have sold them for some amount. Not right now. Not right now. I need to go make my way to Ashura. If we check the map here. That's over here, right? Yep. Ashura. I believe. Yes. It's right off of Ashenvale. We have been here momentarily, long ago. I believe we did get a flight path here, so that's perfect. So. Ashura. But first, I want to see if we can poke our heads into this area over in Ashenvale. It's one of the few locations that we haven't fully discovered. There's a lot of these areas where we have partially, or not discovered them at all, really. But there's just a few locations where we couldn't quite get the last bit. What's on your mind? I'm going to go over to Methyl Harbor, take a boat, and then take that flight path. And that should be just what we need. I will get over there in our continued inefficient traveling all over the world thing that I do all the time. It's okay. 
the flight path to get over here. Went straight up this river. Right past the entrance to Orgrimmar. But nobody seemed to care that I was just flying past. They were just more interested in when I tried to storm into the city, I suppose. Anyways, yep, the South Fury River, that's what it's called. So we're gonna head over here to Ashenvale. Saw a bit of the coastline there on our trip up. So we want to head over this way. Maybe around this ridge here. The regular enemies here are not very strong. The spire is level 29. But there was a reason that we turned back previously here. So I believe this was a dragon based enemy. Those guys can be very powerful. 62 elites. Oh yeah, that's good. That's just what I want to see. Don't mind me. Oh wow, there's more. Good. Okay. This. This could be problematic for us. This, so, at least now we know what level they are. That's information that we didn't have previously. All I need to do is get the information about what location this is. And have it update on my map. Discovered for shadow. Oh yeah. It's a big giant portal temple thing. Similar to other terrifying dragon portal places. Good. Fantastic. Not gonna go there. <laughs> Not today. But it's on the map as a big portal. And we got the discovery experience, so that's what I wanted. So that should be all of Ashenvale. Map discovered. I went through and figured out exactly which locations I haven't Update on the map. And as far as I can tell, that should be all of Kalimdor besides Ashura. Interestingly, even though we started over in the Eastern Kingdoms, we have discovered significantly less of it. I guess that all comes down to our choices we made and where we were going to do questing and such. Back to Anshara at Talrundus Point. Let's see what we are dealing with here. Specifically, we are looking for the ruins of Eldorath. To get these rune rubbings. But we're also here to explore this area. Looks to be wooded with lots of ruins. First enemy is level 47. Level 46? Oh, that's, that's very doable. That's, that's very doable. Like a spooky ghost. Shadow Song Shrine. Highborn Lichling. 47 undead. Let's see if I can remember how to play the game. It's probably good for me to be starting off here against slightly lower level enemies so I don't get annihilated too quickly. Shadow Song Shrine. Yeah, a lot of ghosts. I mean, with all the ruins here, you could kind of expect it might be haunted. So that's not that's not too surprising. 
We have mithril deposit. That's what I'm looking for. Some kind of ruined dam, possibly. I still do need more mithril to continue my blacksmithing. So finding more of this is exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you very much. We got ghosts. We got ruins. We got ghosts and ruins. All day. Every day. In Ashura. Haldar Encampment. Anyway, Thunderhead Hippogriff. Fellsworn, so that's demons. Got some demon ruins. Level 52 Elite, Cliff Walker. He's also aggressive, so let's let's avoid that, shall we? Anything fun up in these ruins? Demons. We got demons. Ruins with demons. Demons in the ruins. Fancy deer guy. 46. Previously, a lot of the deer were just like the low level critter kind of guys. So, there you go. High level deer. A lot of hippogriffs. This is probably the hippogriff area. Looks to be about the edge of this. Oh, we can see like a waterfall going up into winter spring. You can see all the cold on the trees. That is very high up there. Won't be scaling that cliff, that's for sure. Won't be scaling that at all. Oh, here's a camp of some description. Valormach. Alright, what do we got here? It's a horde town. Kinda. Oh, they got a flight path here. Okay. Interesting to see if there's any larger presences here because so far we've only found this camp and the alliance camp this is more of a wilderness kind of location it seems like some naga all the way up here. There's a horde flag. Oh, this, this isn't looking good. What are we getting ourselves into this time? Have we got the watchtower? Oh boy. Forlorn Ridge. That, that's a whole thing here. It's up here. It very, it's very horde based, which is pretty concerning for me. And now we don't have our mount. This is this is this is nothing's what this is. This is not the way to get up there, wherever there is. Looks like there's a different path up there to actually get onto the Forlorn Ridge. Some kind of weird deserted outpost section, I guess. Okay. 
So a little bit more structures just abandoned this time for some reason. Interesting. There's, there's an absolute ton of ruins here. Like, to almost an absurd degree. This must have been like, like a capital city or something. How sprawling all this is. Ruins of Eldrath. Yeah, here we are. That's the places we need to be. Fantastic. There's some kind of something going on down there. Before we explore those ruins, figure out where these carvings might be. Head down around here, try to figure out how to get up to that other section. Looks like the main path to the Forlorn Ridge is over this way. Alright. Well, let's give that a shot. Unless it's horde controlled like that camp on the side was, we'll have some we'll have some problems with this adventure. This is looking pretty much like the way to go. Maybe. Forlorn Ridge is more over to the side there. Oh, there's, a, there's an ooze, that's good. Here's some more ruins. Not too surprised about that. Oh, we got Lake Minar. The slime's going away. This looks like you know, elite dragons, but they're only level 52 and not 62, so I guess that's a bit better. If we could. We can maybe take a little 52 elite. I need to. I don't really want to try that right now. I'm still trying to get up onto this ridge here. I think it'd be slightly more clear how we're supposed to get up here. Right on the line here. Leaves falling from the trees. It's fun. Okay, I'm seeing there's a section in the middle there. It wasn't through there. This map is a little awkward because it's got this path kind of thing here. I don't really see in that path though. We have more problems with getting up to places than almost any other attempt at traversing the landscape. That cave could, I don't think that's where we were when we got to that cave, though. Are we from the southern side? That's the most annoying part about mountains. I can see that I'm close, but I can't actually get over the last bit of mountain. A constant struggle. A constant struggle. Oh, just, just. 
I'm trying. Do I need to be trying? Probably not. It's a useful endeavor that I'm going on. We're getting up higher. Whether that means anything or not, probably not. Oh, 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 we're almost there. We're so close. And so there's like a path right here. There's a line of some description. Let me in. <laughs> Kinda on the line. Like, if I look at if I look at this on the map, it looks like there'd just be a way to get in there. There's a there's a cave lower down. Connects in. This right here, this isn't happening. Head down this way for now. Like my nowhere. So we might have avoided the dragons here. Back to stag wings. Mistwing Road. Yeah, there's a way up here from the south. Mountains. Way back here in the deep, behind this mountain. Level 50 enemies. That's still manageable for me. As long as we don't get swarmed by them. He says while being swarmed by them. Oh, here's... It's like an alliance kind of entryway. To another nothing cave on the Forlorn Ridge. This side. That's really awkward. So we found two kind of entrances to the Forlorn Ridge, but not the actual Forlorn Ridge section. You would think that these tunnels would have like connected in or something. Apparently not. Apparently not. This one also seems to be abandoned. Weird. Weird place, Forlorn Ridge. Let's just head back. All right. We need to go around this rubble pile, I guess. Try to jump back down onto this side. You heading to the east here. We'll see if we can go see this lake at least. We'll continue further east on this southern peninsula here. Mm -hmm. Very wooded. There's parts where it's thicker woods, and there's parts where it's just ruins everywhere. Very overgrown. 
Just by the size of the trees around. It's gonna be very old ruins indeed. Lake Menar. And and just the absolute state of the ruins. Oh, there's a dragon guy. Dragons all around the lake, perhaps? Ooh, this is an interesting building. Yep, more dragons. Possibly a crater of some description. It's a slightly, it's a slightly different color palette here, too, of these. Maybe these are the dragons construction. Interesting. Let's try to get through this section without aggroing any elite dragon guys. Oh boy, there's sure a lot of them right here. Might be easier said than done. Leaving. I'm leaving. Don't mind me. Alright. Well, 53 enemies. Okay, we're getting up. We're getting up higher. Another aggressive golem guy. There's some crystals that we can't mine, unfortunately. Oh yeah, a lot of these guys. It's getting dangerous out here. More crystals. Hmm. Cliff Thunderer. Cliff Breaker. Not, not what I'm looking for. Honestly. If there's any, if there's any like minerals around, that'd be great. I'm focusing mostly on trying to live, honestly. There's a, f a fair amount of elite enemies down here, all things told. Between the dragon guys and the Golems here. South Ridge Beach. All this. We're not really on the beach, per se. What, what's going on here? It's like frozen. Concerning. Just out in the woods. Oh, what is that? Spirit of Azergas, Drankin Boss. Oh no. But oh my. You can talk to him. I mean, that's probably not a good idea. It's just a spirit. Friendly neighborhood dragon spirit. And watch his eternal mortal. Okay. Fair enough. Keep at it then. That's pretty cool. Pretty chill for a giant dragon spirit. I am glad of it. There's a southern section here. Go across this bridge. that down there? Murlocs. Everything's getting really kind of like shattered. It's like cliff parts. 
There's a rich thorium vein. Down below. So, enchantresses. I want to get a good view from over here, so we're going to take these guys out. Level 55? I can manage that. Enchanted quickness. And we got a clam out of it. Fantastic. They're pretty large. I mean, we are a dwarf, so a lot of things are large for us. It's just how it is. Another clam. They're guarding some kind of spooky crystal. I don't need whatever this is, but I just want to look at it, you know? Well, there's an, well, there's an ominous glowing crystal thing. You gotta get in on that. You just gotta. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, there's an ominous red glow around this carved rock. Fun. Interesting. There's a bunch of water section here. Various shallow water and islands, perhaps? I need to head south some more. We'd love to get down there for the rich thorium. But I'm kind of still up here. Very precarious cliffs right here, too. old bridges connecting these various jutting sections together. Interesting. There's another bridge even further that way. Okay. More Nagas. Ravencrest Monument. Alright. That could be most of this. Let's keep looking at it. Oh, it's getting more... Oh, wow. So everything's kind of a mess here. The trees look like burnt or something. We got this broken monument. Here's the head. That would have been very tall. My goodness. My goodness. Interesting section. And there's a rich thorium vein up here at the top. Perfect. It was worth coming over here. Very good. Looks like there might be like a southern beach section here that we need to uncover. Oh yeah, a fancy diamond. It's a Thermian diamond. Neat. I'll take that. There's some more glowing red. Oh, there's a chest there. I'll try to get that chest. It might be locked. Let's see. Yeah, we're just out of range. It's a fun. A little statue right next to that. No way can we open it from here. Open it, open, 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 open. Ah. Rude. I think we were pretty close to that. 
Even though we were nowhere close to the actual chest, but okay. I'm not gonna complain about it. Oh, 54. We're getting some experience for it. That's something. This should have decent loot in it, presumably. Since we're not about all 50 plus guys. Got some superior healing potions. Some food. Some more food. Got some fire bloom. Cool. Nothing too cool in the clams there. We've moved on to major healing potions at this point, so that's not a huge deal. Let's see if we can trick it into. Nope, probably just have to go down there to actually get that part. We still got some more bridges to cross, so it'll do that first. I'll leave me there. We'll fall off a bridge. Got lightning attacks. I'll take this fight. He's trying to get a little bit further away from the giant there. Did not really need that right now. Bit of a mess on these islands here. There's more crystals. Well, this is a very small area for this big giant guy to be. A little bit in the way, honestly. Oh, there's a mithril deposit around the corner here. I will go get that. Is that the bridge that we took there? Took that bridge and then the lower bridge? Okay. I think we've been there before. Yeah, Scoot around here. To the middle. Next to this big old crystal. Sure. Got some more stone from them. Just a little bit. Okay. We mostly been back there already. I kind of want to try to get down to the water here. Get down to this beach section. And we can go around from down there. Let's do make a smooth descent from this upper section. Yeah, it's looking kind of cliffy. No, that's death. The Ruined Reaches. Hey, hey, that's the area we wanted to see. Glad we're dead. Where are we going to spawn? On the other side of the mountains. Great. Okay. Good. Well, we can walk on water, so that's, that's something at least. I don't know how easy it would be to get up from here. I was hoping to maybe land on those various sections and take that in stages, but nope, that's not what happened. Ideally, I would have found a location where I could just fall into the water. It really did not seem like it wanted me to do that. So, here we are. Dead. <laughs> As per usual. 
the Bay of Storms. We're gonna end up probably swinging out around the coast on our way back here. Orange reaches. That is all the way out the coast here. Right. Interesting. Interesting. There's a lot of partially water sections down there below the bridges that we were on. I saw some ore was down there, so I'm going to want to check that out too. Probably quicker to go around here. Let's go straight through here. That's some good verticality on this. You got the upper section with all the bridges connecting the islands and this lower section. More beach-like down below. Interesting. I got some water. I don't think as ghost form we can actually see any resource nodes. We have to retrace our steps to get that. There's a boat. Kind of some slightly tight corridors down here. We have to fight some stuff if anything's in the way. Interesting. There's a base down here, some description. Corpses over here. Hopefully, we can reach it from this side. That'd be. Pretty inconvenient. We had to go all the way around. Up there, fall down as a ghost. Breathless Sanctum. Hmm. Got a fire going. The ruined reaches. Yeah, it looks pretty ruined. It does not look like there's going to be much this way, but, okay, might as well. Now, one... Turtley boy. Would not be the first time we swam around the outside of a continent. For no apparent reason. Oh. There's a Hydra or something like that. Only level 53 though, so should be fine. Looking at this area back here, I think we could swim down to Durotar from here. Probably. Probably could do that. Get back on the beach at Skull Rock. Possible. Possible. Not really what we're trying to do here, though, so. There's something. Whether we can get up to that is the next question. That's definitely a something. Definitely a something. Oh, we're on land. Oh. Rising Scout Crewman. What are you doing over here? Hmm. Why is interesting? Get over to there. 
from here. I'll go this way. might be a access up there on the other side of this little rock that this is sitting on. What do we have here? It's got a path going up to the north of it. Just, just a path down there. Secrets do you hold? There's a barrel. I jump on a barrel, I guess. And yeah, probably not. I'll try it anyway. That is very unfortunate for anybody that falls off this rock here. We're jumping. Aha, we did it. Engineering supplies. Hey. All right. Goodbye now. And trade supplies. Salutations. All right. You have a great day now. You've chosen a very strange location for your shop here. Well, that's okay. That is okay. So the path that gets you down to them is right here next to Link Lunar. Yeah, look at that. Very cool. See about that shipwrecked guy. Good job. Actually made it into the water and didn't die that time. Of course, it was a lot easier since we were so much closer to it. What are you gonna do? awkward because you can't look above the water because then you go underwater Let's see if there's more of these shipwrecked guys up here Maybe it's just him this part doesn't really connect to any of the other parts though so we will have to see there's a quest Ah, the shipwreck guys. Hello. Shipwrecked people. Some mithril deposit over there. That was an interesting situation. Hey there. Ahoy, Eric Erickson. Not a pretty pic not a pretty picture, is it? The rising sky at the bottom of the sea, my crew in shambles, and our cargo and passengers. Strewn about like so much debris that you'd think this was one of Stormwind's canals after a festival. And that's not where the trouble ends. A crew under fire. We were just off the coast looking for a safe haven to make anchor. The sun had been down for more than an hour when they attacked those damned Naga. I'm not sure what they were looking for, but it's clear they didn't find it. They've already come back once. A couple of my scouts are on watch at the entrance of the valley. Give us fair warning when the next attack comes. I'm sorry you've come along now, Eric Garrison, but it's out of my hands. Are you ready to fight for your f fight for your life? Defend Captain Vanessa Bella, her crew, and Harrison Scott's passengers against the Naga attack. Captain Vanessa Beltis must survive. Honestly, that sounds pretty exciting. See you around. 
Stand prepared, the Nag won't wait long to press their advantage. Unless they know we're alive. What level is this quest? Yellow. Oh, there's a Naga. Level are y'all, y'all? There's a lot of them. Took out the mage back there. We lived. What can I do for you? If you give me a moment, warrior, and I are attacking us right now, I'll speak to you as soon as the attack is done. Safe travels. Okay. Probably gonna be more waves. Probably gonna be more waves. I think that guy was already dead, so that's fine. Waiting. We are waiting. I'm not gonna go over there. Cause that would be problematic for me. What do we all got for people here? Got like a mage, a whole bunch of warriors, hammer. Any more naga? Be careful. Okay. You're really like a little 48. Hello? Additional Naga? Additional Naga! Additional Naga! <laughs> Some of our AoE attacks there. Can't get too much accomplished. Everybody's fine. A little 49 ish. Nice having this entire group of people here, though. That's pretty fun. Anybody die? Possibly. Uh, wasn't, there, wasn't there a mage earlier? Time for AoE attacks. Okay. That was quicker than the last bunch came through. Weird timing on that, I guess. We got a devotion aura. Cool. Okay, bow shot up. I wonder how many waves this is gonna be. Well met. Have a good one. At least one more. I'm all coming.
don't know what the spawning on this is. Do you think it'll like spawn the next wave after you're done with the previous one? But I guess it's more of a... I guess they don't want to do it instantly, or you would get all kinds of problems. Huh. Yeah, we got a defense level. That's pretty good. Pretty good defense level. We can use guys out here. We are in a bad way. Okay. Serious amount of damage this time. Let's have some cheese. I think we took a bit more aggro that time. That's okay. As long as, as long as we succeed in the quest, that's perfectly fine by me. That bow shot back and going. And that fence level is going to help us a bit. Oh, it looks like we lost at least one more guy here. Hopefully, it's not too many more. We're gonna we're gonna have problems. Looks, looks like we have less we got less people than we had before. Oh, we're done? Very good. Can I help you? This is going to be a tough battle. Nope, we're not done. Crew under fire. It's gonna be a tough battle. Farewell. Yep, oh, there's the battle. The battle continues. Oh, what? Nobody's helping me. Nobody's helping me with the battle. Can y'all help me with the battle? Did I target them before they aggro? Well, that's not good. Don't worry. I'll just battle myself, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough battle. Nobody helps me. <laughs> Luckily, I'm so overleveled. I'll eat this cheese. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I guess we aggroed the last wave before they attacked them, so they didn't care. That, that's, that's slightly problematic. Hey, Lindros is alive again, I guess. Or maybe we failed because they died. Hard to say. Interesting though. Very interesting. Well met. You've done it. Thank you. Surely this was one of the most brutal battles I've ever taken part in. I can't thank you enough. I only wish more of my crew could have lived through this trial. I would ask you to speak to any surviving passengers from the Horizon Scout. Some will have business in the area and may have a request or two of you if you're willing. Again, thank you for all your help. See you around. Cool. Can I help you? Let me get the quest again. Interesting. Farewell. Maybe this guy needs to live. Maybe this guy too. I mean, those are the crew. So maybe we failed that quest. But they died really fast, so I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. It was an interesting experience, even if we didn't get too much out of it. I'm going to take this mithril, though. Alright. And another mithril. Very good. Alright. Well, we will leave this bunch here. I think 
By the way, we didn't get any experience for that. And it said talk to them. They didn't survive. A little bit awkward. Maybe we could have drawn more aggro to ourselves the first couple waves. Either way. That is fun times here in the ruined reaches of a shipwrecked crew. I'm going to swim my way back over closer to where we died and where there is more areas we can actually walk on and explore. Namely, this section on the lower section. And we'll make our way around through the islands. Run on some stuff, I guess. If we can get over to there, that'd be a good spot. And we still have the entire northern peninsula to check out and our quest to do here. So we still got a decent amount of stuff to look into in Ashura. Azerothian diamond. Fancy. Very fancy. We find more gems in Arthorium, I swear. Not complaining about it. Not complaining about that at all. Maybe we'll start from this rock. There's probably enemies over there. So. Exploration continues. Next time. Goodbye.